Hi everyone, welcome back into another one. So it's been a couple of weeks since the end of TT and starting to feel a little bit more normal again, straight back into work. Everything's just mental trying to catch up. But a little update, been speaking to some of the riders who crashed over TT. So we've got some updates on how they're doing. And then we had a request this week for us to do some work with the bikes for an event this week. So uh, let's tell you all about that. Let's go straight in. Yeah, so first thing, um, Anthony Redmond, obviously I've talked about on the videos um, over TT, who's a, who's instant I attended up at the bungalow. He sent me a message probably over a week ago now, um, just a thank you message. He just tries to get hold of everybody who's involved in his in his incident and just say thanks to medics, marshals, and anyone else who who helped. So he sent me a message, and obviously we done we started getting chatting again. Um, he's been over in Liverpool, Aintree, having his treatment for his injuries. So we just started chatting about like the incident and like what went wrong and things like that and we've exchanged a couple of videos and things that, that we had of the, of the crash. So, and like, no, not all riders are the same. Um, like when I, I've had a couple of big ones and if someone said to me, I've got a video of it, do you want to see it? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, want to, I want to see it. Not like for any weird reason. You just want to see how it all actually went wrong because what happens in your head and what actually happens in reality is sometimes very, very different. And you just want to make sure that it wasn't something really silly that you did. You were kind of, you just, you want to put the incident to bed in your head and draw a line under it. And if there's any unknowns about, was it my fault? Was it a mechanical? Was it something I did? Was, you know, as an external factor, you just, all these things, and you start playing off the different scenarios. So if you can get a video which just proves what went wrong, then you can find out why and either say, right, it wasn't my fault, or yes, it was, and make sure you don't do it again. And there's something, like, there's some closure in that, that for me, I always wanted to see the video if I could, just, just to, to piece it all together. And Anthony's the same, he, he's, he saw it, and basically, exactly what he thought. You know, and he's come out, so when I said the bungalow, everyone thinks, oh, bungalow won't be bad, it's just a front end through the left. But Anthony's crash was through the right after it, so the little king after he's gone through the left, picked the bike up, then got on the power, the back's then broken away. If you've ever seen people more on short circuits and they have a high side without crashing, so it sort of comes out and it goes completely broadside, flicks them out of the seat, chucks them up in the air, he manages to hold on, lands back on the bike, and it sort of goes again and then lands. By the time he's collected all that up, he's on a, a collision course with the bank on the left. He's at the bank and I'm not going to show you the video obviously, but he's going head over heel, tumbling on the, on the banking. Fortunately, it is up on the bank and it could have been way worse. You know, if it's lower section, if it's down in the trees and things like that, obviously, if it's hitting things like that, it's just never a good thing. His bike stays in the road, goes up the road, and ends up in a bit of a mess at the top of the hill. But yeah, we had a chat and uh, he's like, oh, use the video if you want, but I'd like, I'll never show you that. It's way too, uh, it's way, way too, it's not graphic, but it's just, it's quite a shocking video. It's quite a, it's quite a violent crash. So, so nice to, to catch up with him. Um, just discuss things that happened and the injuries and there's a few funny things in there as well. They're trying to put an IV into his arm and, and his arm wasn't straightening and he's trying to tell them it didn't it was straight it wasn't even straight before I before I set off old injuries and things. So there's a few funny ones about that. I remember somebody telling me one about there was a parade lap I think they did and it was somebody who I think that they they were paralysed I think from the waist down. So they kind of like strapped them on the bike and they were doing a lap of TT course. Fine, no problem. It's gone back a long time, this. 20, 30 years. And I think it was Ramsey Hairpin. And obviously it's so slow that it's so easy to just topple off the bike. And the medics went to him and it, it, like, couldn't, there, was, there, was, there was some discussion about not being able to feel his legs and all this panic. And he's like, no, 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 you don't realise, you don't realise I'm already paralysed from the waist down. And it was like, I can't remember who told me the story now. But... Uh, you need to get it really from the horse's mouth and get the full story, but it was quite a funny one. But yeah, good to catch up with Anthony. Good to hear that he's already planning for next year for a different bike and to go again at it. So yeah, uh, once a racer, always a racer. And he's thinking about just getting better, getting back on a bike, getting one maybe this year. To, so he's got plenty of time to prepare it for next year and things. So yeah, really good to hear from him. One other thing, really, we got a message last week asking if any of us were available to do another funeral escort. So like if you saw all the videos last year, we did one for Raoul, and that was a f obviously a full lap, and it was all traffic managed and stuff, and 
We did, a, we did a couple last year in the winter, we didn't have the Fireblades then, but we'll go as TMs with all our gear on and just use our personal bikes. But if we've got the bikes through the summer between TT and Grand Prix, and somebody does ask us to do something with, with funerals or processions or anything like that, we always ask Honda, and Honda are always great, they always say, yeah, of course you can, um, they're happy for us to use them. So, I don't know how many of us there's going to be, but we're just basically doing a run from the Craig down to the crematorium tomorrow. Um... I don't know the person, like personally, but he was to do with paramedics and that side of the event, so he has got a, he has got a good connection with it. And yeah, like I talked about this a bit last year, and it's like it's nice when you've got all you've got you've got the TMs and we've got all our gear on, and it looks like it's not official, but it looks quite like respectful. I suppose is the, the best way to describe it. You, you wear all like your uniform and we all like look the same and it just and if, if it's not for everybody it definitely isn't for everybody some people couldn't think of anything worse and that's fair enough but if somebody's family would like us to do it and it makes them feel better like just one percent for that day then of course you're going to do it why wouldn't you do it why would you, you you, of course you'd say yes and so if some, anybody ever asks if they'd like us to do it always willing to do that for people um, it's never a question of um, maybe it's always a yes so yeah we'll do our little bit tomorrow and if it gives somebody like I say a little bit of comfort or a little, or just you know makes them smile or makes them feel a bit better about the day because it's never a nice day for anybody at a funeral so yeah if it makes somebody feel a bit better then it's definitely worth doing Apart from that, that's pretty much it. Just a little update. Um, like, obviously, I put that poll out by last week just to see about future videos and content and what people are interested in and, and things like that. And only 10% of you said that you only would watch Travel Marshall content. Was it then another 20% said it needs to be sort of bike related, which it would be anyway. I'm not going to start making a video about how I grow my strawberries. <laughs> You know, it's not going to be like that. It's not. It's not. It's not me. It's not me as a person. It's me as a traveller marshal, and, and I'm like, I want to get the lads in as well. Obviously, I spoke about. But yeah, I, so I just wanted to. See if 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 it had flipped the other way, and seventy percent of you had said it just want travel marshal content, then that's all I'd make because there's no point me making stuff that people aren't going to watch. Is there? That's what's the what's the point really? So, um, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised to see that. 70% of you basically said you'd watch anything that we post. So it'll always be bike related and it's going to be... And I'm happy to say that loads of people are interested in the technical stuff with the bikes and the communication gear, even like the helmets and stuff. We've got some good stuff actually to do with our eye that I think you'd be interested in. And the only way I can sort of... I can't like ask everybody to vote every day about what sort of video you want next. next. you just kind of got to get a general idea of what people are interested in. But... I'm happy to say that the technical stuff is the stuff that I'd be interested in and it seems to be the stuff that most of you lot are interested in going by what you said in, in the uh, off that poll we did. Um, but you've still got loads of questions to go through and I want to save them for when I've got Jim here and stuff because when I answer a question, I'm answering it as a TM, but it's my take on it as a TM and you'll get a different answer from Jim or Johnny or Darren. So... I want to get those boys in and we're going to do so. We've got some time now, so we're going to sit down, make this place a little bit better to sit in, get us filmed a little bit better and we'll get, we'll get, some, uh, get some more content for you. But yeah, just a little update this week just on what we're doing. It's always nice to get an update on riders because after TT's finished, everyone goes back to their normal life. and you, not, It's not you forget about them, but it sort of goes on the back burner a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, so nice to get an update on them. What we're up to this week, a couple of things to do with the bike. Got to take the plate off. Um, dispensation for our one to eight plates it just only runs during like a couple of days before all through TT and, and then it can see them again for Southern 100 and Grand Prix but right now we need to go back onto the, the actual UK plates for the bikes so get the, the plates done it's already clean and ready to go um, so yeah do that tomorrow morning and then we'll get some more content made over the next few weeks I'll try and get out to you on a more regular basis because it's, uh, it's what you guys said you want so yeah that's it at the moment Thanks again for watching. I'm seeing you next one.